So what is up guys, back here with yet another episode of the Fish and Pole, and today I am no longer traveling. I'm going to go back to the same lake I pretty much do all my videos at. You know if you get bored of it, but on a good lake, it's just by far the most reliable lake in the area, and it's close to my house, and it's obviously really good. So, I'm sorry about that, and it is 85 degrees, and today I wanted to change it up a little bit, do a challenge I haven't done in a little while, you know. So I'm at the restaurant, it's about noon, Monday, and yeah, today, I don't want to talk too long to make this boring, but today I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to try to catch a few bass on those MTB baits for the new box of this for this month. And then, secondly, I'm going to be used attempt. No, I'm going against my brother in this one because I cannot get in there for my friends to do it because they're kind of scared. In the Loser Drinks Hot Sauce Fishing Challenge, I'm going to be using the ultralight I use for my trout and panfish. And I'm going to be throwing this tiny, tiny little red fly on that ultralight. I can cast it pretty far and it should be pretty good. And he is going to be using worm and a Barbie rod. It's not his real rod, but he wanted to make it more of a challenge. And he's just catching fish right off the dock. This is going to be a hard challenge. First of all, well, he's not the best fisherman in the world, but he's using worm. And obviously, worm is a lot better than flies. So this should, should be interesting. The loser is going to have to drink the hot sauce. And this stuff right here you're gonna have to like take a sip of it i felt like the last challenge was a little lame i didn't really eat much and i wanted to take it up another level so we're gonna be doing this today so wow yeah let's get right into it not gonna be as intense as having bass attack my feet or anything but it should be interesting and it's looking pretty good today even though it's 85 degrees and so i think i'm ready i think i got everything got my flops check water check baits we're good should be a pretty sweet day, guys, so let's get into it. Guys, again, the second I turned off my thing, finally the big ones came out to play. There we go. So this challenge is pretty dang simple and so bass over 10 inches is going to be worth 10 points because you'd have to use lures and that'd be a lot harder to catch panfish one point well crappie still panfish but if you can't catch a crappie they're hard to catch this year three points pike 10 points and a bass under 10 inches is five points all right ready three two one go all right we're not really putting a time limit on this or anything but and I should be able to catch a fish. Oh, he's already, oh my gosh, he's already on the board, one point. Oh, dang it, lost one. So old July. Oh, got one. That's that's better, that's better. Well, oh, that's actually a nice bluegill. Dude, we're in a school. Okay, that's a nice gill, actually. Oh, that's beautiful. Guys, we haven't really done a fish fishing video in a while, so I'm like, I figured, you know, we might as well do another one. It may be boring to you guys, but it's just really fun. Look at the beautiful colorations on this fish. Blue, purplish. Just gorgeous. Get him back in the water on the little fly. Please take it. This is going to be intense, guys. Did he break you? Yep. Dude, oh my gosh, guys. There's a, is that the bass you're talking about? Hook just fell off. Oh, he's coming for my fly. Guys, right there. No way. On the... Oh, shit. This is... Okay, I just remember this is for six-pound line. All right, all right, all right. He might have the hook you had in him. Guys, there we go. There we go. All right. Keep him over here. All right. That's <laughs> he bit a tiny fly. Okay, let's not make this like the last video. Make it so I can actually land this fish. That's actually not. That's easily about 14. Okay. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Ah, I got him. Oh, that's 
that's a good start, guys. <laughs> He's got it rough. Okay, so that's 10 points. Uh, um, guys, look at right there. Look how tiny that little hook is. He, this guy's like feeding. Look how tiny that is compared to my little thumb. That tiny little thumb. I don't have a hook. So I'm the ultra All right, you can re-rig. We'll take a pause. I don't have a hook. Guys, there you go. That's probably 15 inches, but he's pretty skinny. And let's get the release on this fellow. He's aggressive. Huh? He's tiny. Oh, yeah, you can hook some of these fish on there, on that, for sure. So that's the biggest fly. Oh, there we go. Does this fish count? No! <laughs> uh, just check it. Finally got one to... I won't count this one until you get back in the water, because I just caught... I got, it's 11 to 3. I didn't three. Ah! Well, there he goes. Hey, buddy. I got him! I got him! Back in the water. There we go. Now I got fish slime on me. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a perch. I just caught a perch. I think that's a perch. Yeah, it's a perch. I got a perch! Guys, this is the, actually, believe it or not, I've caught quite a few perch this year. This is the first one in any of my videos. Just those little fish were. There you go. I mean, it's not much. Just a baby, baby little perch. But we said perch counts two points. They're pretty rare. So, there you go. Little perch. There you go, little buddy. That's a very tiny little perch, but it's good to see some perch in here. Actually biting it. If that makes any sense. Oh, gosh. Josh, bass, bass, big bass. Oh my gosh, that guy came out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, that fish came out of literally nowhere. Drag. He's panicking. That is the second. Oh my gosh, look at that rod bend. Holy crap. I don't know if it's 10 inches, though. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Why do they... Oh man, there we go, guys. Why do these bass... Just love this tiny fly. I don't know if it, I think that's probably 10 inches. But look how tiny that little fly is. I just hooked him. Barely. Look at that. Look, it literally just fell. I didn't even hook the fish. There you go. 10 inches, so that puts it 24 to Sevillon. There you go, little buddy. That scared me, guys. I'm not even kidding. But uh, he just came out of nowhere and I was just catching all these bluegill. And, Dude, there's a ton down here. Get your butt over here. On that tiny little fly, just look at that, compared to my thumb, it's literally a, a hook with a feather on it. This, oh gosh, big bass, holy crap, holy, another giant bass, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, oh my gosh, guys, look at this, Josh, get over here fast, giant, giants, giants, pull and drag, holy crap, oh gosh, I'm not kidding, there was seven giant bass right there. Oh my gosh, they're chasing after my fly in this guy's mouth. Josh, get over here fast! Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys. <laughs> oh, that's a 20 incher. That, this was a spawner too. Look at that tail right there. Please say this is just saving this. I'm not kidding. There's like giants right in there, so I'm going to take this out. But look at the fly I'm using. Like, no joke. Look at that. How tiny that is. Oh my gosh. And I'm barely, they're like choking this little fly for whatever reason. Like, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Man, I really got him though. This little hook. Well, it is thir 32 to 7. Maybe I shouldn't have made, didn't realize bass are going to be this easy to catch. There we go. Alright. Oh, he's bleeding a little bit. He'll be fine now. Just a little tad. Guys, that, that's a beautiful bass. And I'm going to get it in back there because I literally saw six right there. And that's probably a three pounder, three pounder ish spawner. But he's, he's probably 18, 19 inches right there. Let's get a release on this big boy. By far the biggest bass of the day. Oh my gosh. Good, good, great. These fish are aggressive. Oh, I got another bass. Another bass. Here we go. That's a baby, but still. I don't know where all those big ones went. Fourth bass of the day. That is five points. The 37 to 7. No, 8. Yeah, he's at 8.
you can see, it is currently raining, so the lighting is probably pretty terrible on our porch. And Josh lost. I think the final score, Josh, my brother, lost. I think the final score was 37 to 8. 10? 10. With my, he caught a few bluegill, and I didn't count all of them. I mean, I took the points away because um, the worm. And then I ended up catching those bass on that tiny fly like that big. So that was pretty cool. But now he is the lucky winner. He gets to drink the hot sauce. I don't know how much there is in there. There's not a ton, but this stuff is, like, horrible. And so he has to drink all that, and it's going to be a lot. I usually will, I'll put it, like, t like literally drops on chips and stuff. And I actually, that's not too bad. But even that, the aftertaste is awful. He does get, I did permit him with a glass of milk. So it won't be horrible. Won't be. That's a weird word. I don't know why I just said that, but... There you go, guys. So, you ready, Josh? No. He, he thinks I cheated. He thinks it was rigged, which kind of, in a way, it was. But, all right, all right, there it is. It smells horrible. You can do it any time now. You might want to get your milk close by. If you spit it out, don't spit it out. Just don't, just don't. Don't spit right No, okay. Sure. Right, just do it, just do it. Here. All right, do it. The quicker you do it, the better. Okay, watch it. <laughs> Just swell fast. <sighs> Drink milk! Drink milk! Drink milk! It was probably legitimately that bad. Drink some milk! Milk's supposed to help with stuff like this. Luckily, this time I actually did not lose the challenge, guys. I, I usually lose oh, high stake challenges like this. Here, chug, 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 chug. Drink it down. Did you finish it? Yep. There's a little bit left in there. You got a little bit more. What? A little bit more. Loser drinks hot sauce. A little bit more. I know it's awful. No, try it. No, I know it's terrible. Here, you do. I was dreading this challenge. Just, just do it. One sec. Making this outro long. There. There. That's about all of it. There. Alright. <laughs> this is my idea. Alright. 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 You did it. He did it. Alright. So that's the end of the challenge, guys. Pretty, pretty fun. Now you can see it is raining. So that's the end. Big shout out to him for accepting this challenge. He, he came in knowing he was going to lose. <laughs> so there it is, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.